Hey guys, have you ever found yourself in a situation where you suddenly discover a wasp or a hornet's nest high up in the soffit paneling of your house, somewhere difficult to get to, a vulnerable place, maybe high in a tree above your barbecue, and you need to get that nest down for the sake of your family? Well, I found myself in such a situation this weekend, and, and so I put my mind to it thinking about how I might deal with the problem. As it turns out, I'm allergic to yellow jacket stings, and so that makes it particularly important for me to do this safely. Of course, the simple thing to do would be to take a garden hose and put a sprayer on it and stand underneath the trough and spray it until the nest hits the ground. And then, of course, you run away and move your family out of the house for the weekend as the angry hornets and wasps disperse. But from a practical perspective, that's not very easy to do. A simpler solution would be to use some kind of an insecticide spray. And then the problem becomes um, finding a way to lengthen your arm so that you can get the spray close enough to get an accurate aim and yet keep yourself at a safe distance so that the uh, insects don't recognize you as being their threat. I found myself uh, in this situation and so I put my mind to it and put together a design for a, a spray uh, a holder that would hold the insecticide spray and allow me to shoot from a distance. And uh, so this is my prototype. I put it together and uh, it seems to work pretty well. Now, um, before any of you um, wonder about this, this is a situation that has been dealt with commercially and, and there are devices that are sold commercially that can do this. Um, all you need to really do is to search Amazon and you'll find lots of um, insecticide spray arm type things. But unfortunately, where I live, they seem to be unavailable. Mail order is often a problem up here in Canada. And so I decided to make this myself. So here's what I've come out with. This is um, pretty much all made with one inch by one eighth inch flat plate. Uh, it looks like I've got about three feet of it here. And I've got some quarter inch threaded rod welded to the flat plate there with a couple of nuts on either end holding it in place. Here's what you do. You first lay a piece of tape behind, like so. And then you take your spray bottle, put it under here, and then wrap it around. You want to make sure you don't shoot yourself with, in the eye with this thing at this point. That wouldn't be good. Now, next part, I'll take another piece of tape and wrap it around the bottom. Same thing. I want to hold this thing tight. There we go. And now we need to affix it to some kind of a rod. Now, we could use something as simple as a piece of wood. Um, you need wood that's thin enough to um, get into this uh, gap here, and we're going to screw it in with a piece of, with a screw. Now, as it turned out, I used some um, one-inch uh, electrical conduit that I had laying around, and as it turns out, that's a little bit more flimsy than I'd like. Um, EMT might work pretty well, a piece of wood, maybe even a broom handle, something long that you can hold the device with. All right, so here's what we have. I've just screwed it with a simple number 10 screw uh, to this one inch electrical conduit. The string goes back to the end that I'll hold on to, and now we're all set to go. I want to thank you guys for watching and if you found this video useful um, and you want to see more of these, please hit subscribe. I'd appreciate any comments you might add.